God will make a way, will he not? He'll make a way when there seems to be no way. He makes way through his ping pong tables. <laughs> he makes ways through furniture. He makes ways. Our course that we're getting ready to sing simply says that. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. Sometimes we don't see that. But he will make a way for me. Our scripture today, the, the focus verse is that of Isaiah chapter 43, verse 19, and it says this, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the desert, he says. There doesn't seem to be many ways in the desert. But God says, I'm making a way in the desert and streams in the wasteland. God will make a way. You know, there's many of us in this place right now that are facing things that are trying. And we just need God to make a way. May we trust in Him. Before we go to our time of prayer and sing this course, let me just lift up a few concerns, if I may. And, and we recognize those that's in the source, but there's a few that we need to continue to pray for right now as we look all across the world. We, we recognize the situation that's happening in Nairobi right now where a gunman has gone in and taken already over 50 lives in a mall. That's, 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 that's staggering to think about. What's even more, hits more close to home is that we have people like Commissioners Hodder in that mall 10 minutes before that took place. We once again are reminded of God's protection, we're reminded of God's ways as, as Jeremiah just said. We need to continue to pray for that situation right now. That God make a way for those that are still within that. That God makes a way for those families whose lives have just been changed in a terrible way. May we be in prayer for them. As we think about our own needs here, we have those who are getting ready to go into surgery. I think about Marcia, who this Wednesday will have extensive back surgery. Or see our prayers that God makes a way. That he makes a way to touch your body through surgeons, through procedures. He can do that. And we trust him. We think about people like Beth Bailey, who, who suffered burns on her face. She's in Tampa General right now because a grill exploded on her. You don't understand why things happen, but we pray that God makes We celebrate, don't we? We celebrate Vic and Molly. It's exciting. 65 years. God's made a way. We pray that God continues to in your marriage. And I'm challenged. I don't know about you. I'm challenged by that. That God continue to make a way in my marriage. But just as we celebrate, and talking to Vic and Molly earlier, they, the first thing they talked to me about was, you know, we shared... We shared an anniversary with Dorothy and Ken Rose. And Dorothy, we're praying that God continues to make a way in your heart, in your life. That God makes a way in your family as you continue to face the struggles of Ken not being here. The beautiful thing is, is that we have a God that says, listen, see, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? Do you not see it? I'm making a way in the desert. God will make a way when there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make ways for each and every one of us. And so now as we go to this time of prayer, can we just sing this chorus through a few times? We're going to sing it through three times. And we're just going to lift up our concerns, our needs, whatever it is that we face right now. We're going to give it to him and say, God, make a way in my life. Let's sing it together. God, make a way where there seems to be.
limited her, how she's been in pain. Father, we pray that you make a way, that you do a new thing this Wednesday through this surgery, Father, that you work through doctors, that you work through these procedures, that you work through the time after that, Father, we pray for healing. We pray that you make a way. Father, we pray the same for Beth, who right now is in the hospital with these severe burns. We pray, Father, that you, that you use the doctors, the medications, that you use the nurses, that you use all those things, that you, those resources that you have available to you. And Father, we ask that you touch her body right now. We pray that you make a way. Father, as I look out to this congregation, I see people like Ron Smith, Major Ron Smith. And as I look at him, I, I see these words that we just sung, that with love and strength for each new day, Father, I pray for that for him. Pray for that for many, Father, as each day seems to be trying with health concerns and needs. And Father, I just pray that you continue to make a way for them. The reality is there's so many in this congregation, Father, who need that. And so, Father, we once again just place our faith, we place our trust in you. And we ask that whatever situation we may find ourselves in, that you help us to recognize that you're working, that you're at work, that you're doing a new thing. So, Father, may we forget the past and look toward the new and ask you to do a new thing in our hearts and in our lives. Make a way for each and every one of us. 
Father, we thank you so much for your word. And as we talked about earlier this morning, we pray now that you open our eyes, open our ears, open our hearts, and allow us to hear from you. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated.